welcome back everyone. I hope you're all okay and that you have had a really good week. Um, I was really poorly this week. I got a bug, so everyone that had private readings, thank you ever so much for bearing with me with it all. Uh, you've all been superstars. I looked dead grey, I was coughing, I was spluttering. Um, if I'm coughing and spluttering a little bit on this reading, it's just because I'm at the tail end, so just bear with me with that as well. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to go into what are their next moves. In probably start of next week, I'm going to go onto Instagram and put a post up for you, uh, what you guys want to watch. So I will go and put a picture up. You can go write on it what you want. So go find me on Instagram if you haven't yet. It's Mystic Love Tarot. Probably be the start of next week. Um, keep your eyes out and you can go tell me what pick a decks you want. Okay, we haven't done that for a while, so we need to do that. Right, what we are going to do today are what are their next moves. So this is deck number one and this is deck number two. We're going back to some really old school decks. Uh, both masculine energy decks, not that it really matters, but we're going into a more masculine energy today. Number one, number two. Well done for getting through the lunar eclipse as well, everyone. If you didn't see that on Instagram as well, um, you go and have a look because I put a video up. Number one, okay? Deck number one, <laughs> deck number two. I didn't give you that long on them. Okay. Right, so as always, as you know how it works, we work on the strongest mutual energy between everyone, regardless of individual situations. So if you're third party, if you're being ghosted, if you're madly, crazily in love and in a really happy relationship and wanting to get married and engaged, etc, etc. It works on the strongest mutual energy, going into all your energies, pulling out the strongest energy between you all, and seeing what spirit align with that. Okay, think about your person. Can we get into that person's mutual energy of everyone watching to watch and uh, have all the future outcomes? Yeah, readings with me are always timeless because psychics have no real definition of time. That's how we work. We can look into the past, present and future. So whether your energy is watching it right now as it's coming out or in six months time or a year's time, it's irrelevant because your energy will still be there. That's how we work. Okay, can you tell me what are their people's next moves towards them? Here comes the cough. <coughs> Ugh. Sorry guys, what are their next moves, the people watching, what are their collective energy next moves towards those watching? Okay, I've got, they always give me Taylor Swift because I am a massive Ta Taylor fan um, and I know her songs so well, so they, they tend to give me a lot of Taylor Swift songs because I know the lyrics, but sometimes I don't know lyrics to songs that they give me um so you've got ready for it by taylor and you also got love is a battlefield is that my madonna love is a battlefield we stand uh, what are the next moves so it looks like you guys have been having a little bit of a war zone between the two of you and ready for it would suggest that you've got to get ready for the next round Ooh, what's the next moves get two more. I need to remember how many cards I've done for the next deck. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten card, ten card spread. So what is going on? Your person um, and you have been feeling a little bit disheartened by the situation as a whole. Um, there has been periods of contact that have kind of come to a close. There has been sadness, there has been grieving, there has been longing, there has been yearning, there has been missing. And it isn't just you, it is your people as well. Um, now what's coming to an end, we've got the death card, but Spirit is saying what's coming to an end um, is what has been happening. So if you've had a big argument, if you're not in contact, if anything specifically has happened, that period of time is now coming to a close and that goes along with the lunar eclipse as well. We're going to be stepping into a new cycle in the next couple of months um, and this means that this, this period of heartache and sadness is going to be coming towards an end and if you're not in communication that is when this, this movement towards you is going to kick in. When they do get in contact with you, those of you that aren't in contact, um, keep your vibration as high as possible, keep really strong with it all, try not to act too much on emotions because if you do that they might do a runner again um, but to let you know that whatever has happened within your individual circumstances that period is now coming to a close that end of heartbreak is is, is ending 
you're feeling like they've kind of, you guys in, as a whole are feeling like they've kind of marked you a little bit, you're feeling quite down from it, um, or you have been, you're kind of coming out the other end of it now, they've also been feeling quite marked and down with it. Spirit is saying as your vibration has got higher, as you're starting to feel better, they are starting to feel worse, I know we speak about that quite a bit, um, and it's kind of been like a double-edged knife, they're saying, it's like two hands to clap and I know a lot of you will say well you know they were the they were the a-holes they were the, the idiots um but spirit is saying that it does take two hands to clap so there is going to be one part of it where you kind of both ended up in this situation together please don't shoot the messenger um it's not just one-sided and it feels like there's kind of this I'm almost like betrayal between you both like you've both been let down by one another but as we said, that is coming to a close, okay? So what your person is currently doing is not much. They're thinking it all through. They're weighing up their choices and decisions. They're working out what is the best way to move around you, what's the best way to move the situation forward. And through that, that movement is going to come in. So in this card deck, we have chess and we also have dominoes. So I know I spoke about the chess board before. Sorry, Ugh, this bug. Your person is playing chess. Um, you're not really on the chessboard at the moment. You would be the white. They are the black. They've got loads of chess pieces around and they're not sure what action to make at the moment. It's kind of come to a bit of a checkmate, a bit of a stalemate, a bit of what's going to happen now. Your person is quietly waiting to see if you are going to make a move first. Now, I'm not advising that you guys do that. If you needed to look at that in a personal reading, just drop me an email. I'll put their email in the description. No, in the comments. Um, they're waiting to see what move you are going to make towards them first before they act, okay? Um, as a whole, we would say don't do anything. If you're not sure what to do, don't do anything. Um, wait to see if they make the first move. It would be better if they did, because if they do that, you're going to feel better about the situation. You're going to feel more that they've made moves towards you, and you're going to be feeling stronger about it as a whole. And these dominoes are going. So where they currently are at the moment is weighing it all up. They flicked this top domino. These things are starting to all unfurl now. They're starting to see a bigger picture towards it all. And through that, that movement is going to come towards you. So at the moment, they're holding fire, but they will start moving the situation forward. Now, even if you're in a loving, happy, amazing relationship, this movement forward is going to be about what are the next steps? Where are you going from here? What next do you want? Okay, so just holding fire, bit of a stalemate, bit of a checkmate and then that movement is going to come in. Now, a lot of your people are going to act on a kind of more sexual energy, I hate to tell you, <coughs> or some of you like to hear that, <laughs> um, but the sexual energy is coming forward quite strongly. Um, they, and on a McCall parrot as well, so they're going to be going, Arr! and making these moves towards you. They're gonna make quite a big bang, quite a big noise as they make these movements towards you. And they are gonna be acting on a more sexual, lustful kind of energy, but underneath it, there is that emotions. Reason for that is because emotions make them feel vulnerable. A really strong chemistry between the two of you is that sexual pull, is the chemistry. So the chemistry is gonna be the easier way for them coming in contact with you without coming into vulnerability. Or saying to you, oh, do you wanna meet up and have a night away or, you know, you fill in the picture you can get what I'm saying um, but the emotional side of things is going to be laying underneath that okay so if they do come in and start being a little bit kinky try not to over fret about it because the emotions are what is driving it really underneath it all but it's going to come in quite quickly with a big bang a big McCall power um, shifting that energy forward movement that choices with judgment as well these are the choices this choice is going to come forward with this knight of wands this strong passionate energy towards you <coughs> they're halfway through drawing the infinity symbol they know that this is a more there's more to this relationship that meets the eye they haven't really had these feelings or emotions or kind of addiction feelings towards a person before in their lifetime so they're a bit confused by it all spirit are kind of dancing on their head a little bit telling them oi wake up do this, do that, um, or trying to influence them rather than specifically telling them. Um, and your person is kind of just in a still this slump, still in this this heartache and pain and thinking, oh, what do I do? What do I do? Feeling a little bit sorry for themselves. 
putting stuff from the past about how hard their life has been, putting that into paper, working it all through, um, and thinking, oh my God, I've lost them. But again, heart-centered energy is driving this forward. This love energy is going to be what pulls the situation towards you. This choice is coming in, and it's going to be coming in from a more divine source. So to get from this period coming to a close, spirit, divine energies, higher frequency beings are communicating with them saying oi come on step up a gear that is going to make that shift towards you which is going to be a more sexual uh, energy from that there's going to be giving birth to the situation your person is still holding on to it at the moment they're feeling quite chained to it they can see that there is a lot of potential with this relationship they've just got to get their ass in gear and do something about it so they can see that there is hope here they can see that you are in quite a powerful position they worry about how um, you're going to handle it all emotionally because they're not very good at their emotions and they are aware of that they are aware that they're crap at talking about feelings and emotions etc etc and um, so they're going to be a little bit worried about how you're going to handle it all um, but at the end of the day they can't start thinking about you you're massively in their thoughts even if you're third party spirit is saying it's still the same if even if they haven't made moves towards you etc etc that sexual energy is still going to be pulling them towards you it's still going to be do you want to do this do you want to do that um, and they're going to be trying to hold on to the situation trying to take control of it as my dog take control of it um that is what their, their plan is. So they feel quite out of control, everything at the moment, but with the intervention of spirit, they're gonna start feeling that they've got to make these moves, get back in control of the situation. They're feeling like they've lost it at this moment in time, but it's soon gonna shift and change in the right direction. Uh, timing on it, mutual timing, probably as a whole, and this is a collective mutual energy. Again, if you need specific timings, email me. Um, time is fluid as well, so it can change, but you're roughly looking at two months, remembering this reading is timeless two months from when you are watching it this movement towards you okay so um this this kind of offer of do you want to do this do you want to do that roughly about two months time for you all and from that you're building this more stable beginning a new beginning a happy outcome feeling more stable with the whole situation um People are trying to influence it as well. For a few of you, it's not all of you. Um, so if some of people are coming up to you and being a little bit derogatory about how you're feeling about the situation or trying to kind of control you and put judgments on you, please release them. Uh, someone asked me to reiterate how to do reset send the energy back in the last reading. Um, the best way to do it is kind of say return to sender, say it three times. Now, it's good when you suddenly get hit with it, but if you said it every hour for three days, or every couple of hours, I know you have to set an alarm, say return to sender every hour, by the third day, that energy is gonna be kicked out and you probably need to, you'd probably need to do that once a month um, rather than having to do it when you suddenly feel those energies and strength. Um, all you need to do is say return to sender, send it back. It stops your empath energy, your sponge absorbing it all, sends it back to the person it's come from, a bit like psychic energy, gets stuck into your energy. You need to send it back, return to sender three times, that's all you need to do and keep your energies clear. I talk about that all the time. Okay, so happy outcomes, things moving forward. This one's just staring at me in the face. I'm just gonna use this one as well. Hold on for the ride, movement is coming in, emotions are underneath it all. Whatever they say to you, the reason why they're gonna act the way they are is because the emotions are underneath it all. Movement to the next chapter, two things moving forward and the end of this heartbreak is coming. So hold on tight, my friends. It's all here for you. Anything else? No, that's it. They just said no. That's it. Okay, that's step number one. If you want to book a private reading, email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. All my information is on the website, which is www.mysticlovetarot.com and Instagram, mysticlovetarot. And I'm going to put that post up about what collective readings you want next week. Okay, let's do deck two. 1352. Hello, hi, hi. Okay, so as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your situations. We go into all your energies, we go into all your people's energies, and it pulls out the strongest energy between you all. So at the moment, just snipping into your energies. Okay, can you think about your people? Can we get into their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes, please? Let's get into that energy, pull that in. Okay, let's see what are the next moves for your person. What are they going to do? What are their next moves towards you? 
Can you tell me, please, what are the collective moves for the next, their next collective moves? One, two. Just got that uh, Ellie Goulding. Hate me, hate me, now you want to date me or replace me. Uh, hate me, hate me. Wish you'd never dated me. Flyers, tell me lies, baby, tell me how you hate me. What that's saying is this relationship has just been a little bit in turmoil because the love between the two of you is really, really strong. And through that love comes hate. If you haven't listened to that song, go have a listen. You're going to really like it. So I think it's quite new. Um, hate me, hate me. So if you go and have a look at the lyrics, it's saying basically, they're saying that they, they're lying, but they're... Yeah, they hate you, but they're lying about it because actually they love you, basically. That's the gist of it. Uh, can I have two more, please? What are the next moves? So, your relationship is that kind of passionate, strong energy. And that is why you get into these, these emotions. So you kind of have this backwards, forwards, love, hate, fear, passion. And the reason for that is because this is a passionate relationship between the two of you. You're very strong characters. You're very deep characters you're very um passionate is the right word it's the hurricane it's the tornado you meet in the middle you have an explosion and um, when it's good it's really really good when it's bad it's bad you know it's the highest of highs and the lowest of lows and that is kind of what that song is portraying so even if they say oh i don't want to speak to you again actually they're lying about it because there is a love there but you just kind of need this bit of a you're a rocky road you are a passionate relationship and that is just the way it is okay um so what is going to happen what are the next moves at this moment in time, they're kind of crying over spilt milk a little bit. They're thinking about what happened and, and why, you are, why you are where you currently are and what's going to happen next. And again, the love is in the background. So this is what we're saying, this, this passionate Ellie Goulding song. You've got the three cups over here, which is your celebration tipped upside down. And then to the left hand side, you have the two of cups, which is love. So you've got one side of it is the, the mixed, it's the mixed up energy, it's the passion. You've got the, oh God, I'm so sad. Oh, but I love him, so sad, love him, so sad, love him. You and your person are both mirroring and echoing that energy. Um, and that's why this kind of picture is of, of, there's the eye over the top you know there is a very passionate strong energy and it also uh, spirit just showed me a newspaper it's like it's been written out for a while this cycle has been going on for quite some time um so if you guys aren't in contact and you're thinking are they going to come back the answer is if it's happened before it will happen again you know if it's a new breakup Again, it's still kind of the strongest mutual energy. At the moment, your person has run away from the problems. They've skated off, but through skating off, there is still that strong need uh, to see what you're up to. Jealousy is going to be a massive factor in this as well. Um, your people, if they haven't yet, just be a little bit cautious about what they say to you um, because they're going to say some things that are really going to kind of wind you up a little bit because that is just the way you are. I just got another song, uh, Little... Uh, little mix competition it's kind of that your person's always trying to get a little bit one up on you because they know what buttons to push and if you're acting like you don't really care it could be the other way around as well so if it's coming over the other way around and you like to push at their buttons because they're acting like they don't care um it's that kind of behavior just to see what's going on what how they're gauging the energy so if your person starts pushing buttons a little bit try not to panic about it take a step back breathe it in um, they will be saying these things to provoke a reaction to see how you care about them so just be warned about that try not to act too um, the less you act on it the more they're gonna go oh god have I lost them what, what's going on in their head and if it's the other way around and you are the person that's doing that testing if your person doesn't look like they're bothered again it's because they're trying to get into your head it's a little bit of mind games kind of going on here okay but there is floating away from the problems for the time being but then this passionate energy brings them back you've got the knight of wands as well a lot of sexual chemistry between the two of you a lot of um arguments a lot of love very very up down up down strong chemistry a lion and a tiger trying to take each other on basically they're going to make these moves towards you. Uh, I, I said in deck one, they're probably going to, there might be that need to act on a more sexual energy first because they're not going to want to allow their emotions to come to the forefront because it makes them feel vulnerable, especially if they're pushing your buttons. Um, 
potential argument coming up so be warned just be warned um there is again sexual energy orange rose sacral chakra sexual chemistry passionate energies moving it forward your person kind of wants this freedom they want this space they're like i am better off on my own i've had so much crap in the past i don't know if i'm ready to settle down i don't know if this is what i want and um, or, or if they're third party or i'm a bit stuck i don't really know what to do but you know what I'm still going to push your buttons, I'm still going to give you that passionate energy, I'm still coming towards you, um, and if I've just disappeared, I'm still coming back, okay? You are feeling quite abundant at the moment, use the energies that you are being given from the universe, um, start manifesting if you haven't been manifesting already, if you need a manifesting plan doing, just give me a shout, um, they're all tailored to you and what's kind of going on in your individual circumstances, um, not one plan is the same as the last one, everyone's is completely different because we talk about I ask you what you need, we talk about what the blocks are, etc, etc. Um, so if you want your manifesting plan doing, um, let me know. But if you're okay manifesting and doing it on your own, then get going because you're in this powerful vibration at the moment, which means that they'll make these moves towards you. If you want them to act more on heart-centered energy rather than a sexual energy, uh, you could say you could say to the universe, dear universe, uh, what energy, space and consciousness can I be? Uh, to expand infinite possibilities with me and bleh, your person's name, okay? Because that will expand possibilities other than a sexual energy, okay? Through that, there's love towards you. They're going to make a bit of an offer. They're not, this argument's going to cause a bit of a tower, okay? But once this tower's hit, it's actually going to be quite a blessing, I'm hearing. So, the tower's either a wake-up call that they're going to have about what's going on with you and them, or you're going to come back, have an argument, tower's going to hit because of your passionate sexual energy, but from that, it's going to be start being rebuilt up. They're going to make an offer towards you from this tower hitting, make an offer towards you. That offer, again, is likely to be sexual, so if you want it more emotional, use the... the, the affirmation? It's not really enough. The question that we've said. Um, they're going to go with the flow of it, but this offer is going to be made towards you. They are going to take a leap of faith. They're in between the light and the dark at the moment. They're balancing the yin and yang energies. Um, there is an offer of peace that's going to come as well. So when this tower hits and this conflict, this might have even already happened, which is why you are where you are. Once this hits, or it's hit, or if it's already hit, they're going to come towards you, take a leap of faith, offer you a peace offering, bit of an olive branch, um, still likely to be sexual, but from that, you're going to have a chance for a romantic new beginning, okay? Um, so underneath all the sexual energy, underneath all the passion, is this strong need to communicate about things, there is a strong heart-centered energy between the two of you all and there is a need for peace it's a need for laying these weapons down it's a need for letting go of the kind of competition it's not you know your person trying to get one up on you the two hands to clap it's like that tightrope you know you you're on one side of the rope they're on the other and you're pulling it backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and that's just how your relationship is um it's just this very very strong passion between the two of you this movement is coming towards you new beginning um with heart-centered energy regardless of your situation it's coming so where we are let me just recap in between the two energies floated away from the problems for the time being or pretending that they are non-existent uh coming back towards you with sexual energy um you're on top of your game, use your universal energies to manifest. They're feeling that they are trying to get all the pieces together so they know what direction to go with you. But the sexual energy is going to be the pull, main pull back towards you because they don't want to appear vulnerable. Either your tower has hit already or you are going to have an argument with them. Um, if this tower has happened already or whether it's to come from this, you're going to go past this sexual energy. The tower's going to hit. You're going to need this this need for communication about the situation they're going to make an offering towards you talk it through um, from their point of view they will still be a little bit cautious about how they word things um, because they aren't going to want to appear vulnerable all right so just be wary of that don't push them if they're not talking about emotions don't push them for the answers and then you have heart-centered energy and a new beginning with the two of you starting the next chapter and um, it's like you are at the tail end of the last chapter of your book with them and you're getting ready to start the new chapter with them and you can help that happen by manifesting.
okay so sexual chemistry again sexual pull towards you and um, the eruption of your passionate energies will make them talk to you about the situation they'll start to express a little bit more about their heart-centered energy they might cover it up still with sexual energy to avoid that manifest it um, but it's coming in the right direction ready for the next chapter with you and that is that number two? So if you want to book a private reading, email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. If you want to look at the website, mysticlovetarot.com. If you want me on Instagram, that's just mysticlovetarot. Um, give me a shout if you need me. I do single questions over email because they've got a very, they've got their 24 hour to 48 hour response time. My wait list is currently on 16 to 20 days for video readings. But if you want the quick answers, um, it's $11.11 .11 per single question. So just drop me an email. I love you all to pieces and back. I'm glad we got through the lunar, lunar eclipse and the full moon. We did it. We've released a lot. We're ready for the next chapters. Bring them on. Keep positive. Keep strong. Keep manifesting. Tell the universe that what you want, not what you don't want. Live with love. Focus on love energy rather than fear energy. Lots of love, guys. Take care. Bye.